Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Today I will show you how to use SFC Scan Now to check your Windows system files and hard drive for errors in Windows 10. What SFC Scan Now does is it takes system files from a shadow copy on your hard drive and checks them against your existing system files in your system, operating system, and if it finds any errors, it will automatically repair them. This is very handy when you are having problems and errors coming up on your Windows PC. There are two ways to use SFC Scan now. You can use the old command prompt, right click on it and run as administrator and type in the command there. Or the way I like to do it is I like to go to my search box, type in PowerShell, right click on Windows PowerShell entry, select run as administrator. Then you will see when Windows PowerShell opens, you'll see C Windows System 32. What you do there is you type in SFC space forward slash scan now. So that's SFC space forward slash scan now. And press enter. As you can see, it says beginning system scan. This process will take some time. Beginning verification phase of system scan. And then, of course, it's got the percentage of how far it is complete. Please bear in mind that how this will, the amount of time this takes to scan will depend on your size of your hard drive and the amount of files you have on your PC. If it finds any errors, it will say at the end, it has found errors and repaired them. If it does not find any errors, a message will come up similar to this saying, Windows did not find any integrity violations, which means it's, everything is okay and it did not find any errors. For this case, obviously, I'm going to let mine run. I'm not going to finish the scan now. This will take too much time for the video. When you have finished, when it says it has found errors, you can always run it again to recheck. Or, and if it says it has not found any integrity violations, all you do is you X out and the scan is finished. So, once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.